Today, most economists, as well as most people who write or speak about the economy, use gross domestic product as the standard measure of the size of an economy. This wasn't always the case, however, and there are reasons why economists might specifically want to look at some variation on gross domestic product. Five common variations are explained here. Rather than counting all income earned within a country's borders regardless of who produces it, as with gross domestic product, gross national product counts all income earned by the permanent residents of a country regardless of where it was earned. If all the residents of a country worked within that country, and no foreigners worked in the country, gross national product and gross domestic product would be the same. As workers start crossing country borders, on the other hand, GNP and GDP become noticeably different, but still pretty similar measures of income. Technically speaking, net national product is equal to gross national product minus depreciation. Depreciation is simply the loss in value of capital and assets due to use, so it's helpful to think of net national product as the part of gross national product that went to making new stuff as opposed to replacing items that were getting worn out. Note that you could technically define a net version of any of the measures we're talking about here by just taking the gross version and subtracting out depreciation. National income is equal to net national product after indirect business taxes, such as sales taxes, are subtracted out and business subsidies are added in. In this way, national income represents the payments to owners of the factors of production. This includes the owners of labor, or workers, as well as the owners of capital, such as land, buildings, and money, who lend out this capital in return for interest payments. In general, this measure is very similar to net national product. Personal income represents income received specifically by individuals and by companies that are not classified as corporations. Therefore, personal income subtracts out items such as retained earnings of corporations and corporate income taxes. On the other hand, personal income includes transfer payments from the government such as welfare and social security. Disposable personal income is equal to personal income minus government obligations. These government obligations include not only taxes, but also fines and other related payments. In general, all of these quantities tend to move roughly in tandem, so they all tend to give roughly the same picture of an economy. In order to avoid confusion, economists usually use gross domestic product exclusively to describe the size of an economy.